question three. So now we're on to a geometric series question. So as soon as I see the word geometric series, I open up my formula book and at the top of page four, you'll find this section. This has got the formula I'm going to need. So the first bit wants us to find the common ratio. So what are we multiplying by each time? So what we're going to do is just take two consecutive terms and do the second term divided by the first term. So if we use 16 and 20, for example, and that tells us the common ratio is 4 fifths. Then we want the sum to infinity. Now, there's a formula for the sum to infinity in my book. Here we are. And we can use this because the common ratio is less than 1. So the sum to infinity is A. Remembering A is the first term over 1 minus the common ratio, which is 4 fifths. And put all that in our calculator and we get that that's 100. Then for part C, they want the sum of the first 20 terms. So again, we've got a sum formula in the formula book. So the sum of the first 20 terms is A, first term, times 1 minus the common ratio to the power of N. Well, N is how many terms you want to add up, which is 20, divided by 1 minus R. And put all that in and we get the sum of the first 20 terms is 98.847. And we, I've done that because it said three decimal places. Okay, so all fairly straightforward so far. We just needed to use the formulae in the book. Now on to the last one, which changes slightly. So now we want to prove that the nth term of this series is 25 times 0.8 to the n. Well, again, there's a formula in the formula book. Now we're using the one we haven't used yet. And that says u n equals a, a equals 20, times the common ratio to the power of n minus 1. And you'll notice that this isn't quite how they've written it. They've written it as 25 times 0.8 to the power of n. So the minus 1 is missing. So what we're going to do there, what we can do there, is we can use indices rules to split this up. So thinking backwards, that's the same as 0.8 to the n times 0.8 to the negative 1. Now, if you're multiplying terms, they can be in any order. So that's the same as 20 times 0.8 to the negative 1 times 0.8 to the n. And 20 times 0 0.8 to the negative 1 is 25 times 0 0.8 to the n, and that's what they were looking for. It is just worth noting, you could have split that up in a slightly different way. So if I've got un is 20 times 0 0.8 to the n minus 1, the other way I could have done that is to recognise that if you're subtracting in the index, that's the same as doing 0.8, divided by 0 0.8 to the 1. That may means I have 20 divided by 0 0.8 times 0 0.8 to the n, which will give you exactly the same answer, 25 times 0 0.8 to the n, and both are perfectly valid 